Hey guys, welcome back to InventBox, where the solution is right around in the corner. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started using Krita. So this is a pretty cool software, so let's get started. If you ever used GIMP or another program similar to GIMP or Adobe Photoshop, this will come pretty easy. But if not, this video is for you. So first we're gonna go up here to file and click new and then click create and now we have our file I have this picture of a cat that we want to get rid of the background on but instead of just manually clicking and erasing everything and to erase you just go to this paintbrush tool and click this set eraser mode so now this is the and what you could do is zoom in and very meticulously erase all the way around the cat and that would take forever but something we can speed this process up a lot is down here to similar color selection tool if you click on that and then say just one of the blades of grass now you see it's selected everything that's that color. So what we can do now is go back to the brush. It's still on eraser setting. And we can just erase this green. Bump the size up a little bit. So we can go over the cat and it won't erase any of the cat. It only erases that color. So we, now we can slowly go through and just start erasing all that stuff. And it'll really help us get all the background noise out of there. So keep selecting the colors you didn't get. A little dark in there in that. This green. So we can just get rid of that. And once you do that, and you have a really good amount of it removed you can do control a and that'll deselect everything and now you actually could have done this a little earlier just very roughly trace the outside of the cat and oops let's undo that i erased a little bit of the whiskers Okay, now that we got that traced out a little bit roughly with this, and we already did the color selection, now you can go back to this real quick, or actually we can do the brush and take the size down a little bit. Now you can zoom in and kind of do a rough tracing. If you had an image with a little bit more of a solid background, this would help a lot more. But this, now we have that rough thing taken out. Whoops, now we're just going to... And just like most other softwares, if you do something and you want to undo it, Control z will undo it. So now that there's less stuff here for us to erase, it really makes it easier tell which stuff we need to erase and which stuff we don't so basically what's part of the cat and what isn't <laughs> so you can always just switch right back to the color selection tool and just kind of erase some of this and then just keep switching back and forth So you get it how you like it. That there got a lot. That 
got right behind the whiskers. So now we can select this color. Wait, that's the ear. Oops. Control Shift Z will redo. Okay. So we went a little bit over the ear. That's fine. We can just undo it. And erase. So this tool, as you can tell, is really useful for tracing around it without actually erasing the image itself. Come right around there. Yeah, just clean it up a little bit with this. There we go. Just get in there and get some of the masses. And now whenever you're tracing around something like this, the, the circle can get in there really easy. Boom. You can just do it like that. So, whoops, I did not mean to rotate that. Okay. Um... Some, one of the cool features that Krita has is it has a mirror function. So the mirror function, what that does is you can, if, you, if I draw something on one side of the board, it will show up on the other. So there we go. The cat looks good right there. So we just removed the background, and that went pretty easy and fast. So, say I want to just draw something. So, if we open up a new file, create, it'll just get rid of the old one. But now we have our like kind of like piece of paper. So, if we right click, it'll bring up this option. These options for different types of pens and erasers and stuff. We're gonna. I'm just gonna go with the default one that it'll have. And then up here in these corners is the mirroring options. So this is a horizontal mirror and a vertical mirror. So say so we enable both of them. I can draw stuff like this. And then do this and just like that. And you can just play around with this just to see what it'll do, what what, you, what it's capable of, and it's really good if you're trying to do lots of these, like, that would have taken a lot more time if I, uh, if I did all that by hand, so then you can just, and it's pretty fun, you can just do whatever you want with it, boom, and then it's already pretty cool. And look at that. So that's just kind of a fun feature you can play around with just to see what it can do. Boom. So th that's a kind of a cool thing. I like that. It's very useful. And you can just take off one of the mirrors. If you just want a mirror, if it, you just want it so it'll mirror side to side and not in every angle. So you can have stuff on the bottom that's different from the top and stuff like that. Well, of course, if you don't want any mirroring, you can just click on both of them twice and they'll go away. Just like that. So, let's undo this. So that's a useful tool if you're just doing, like, freehand drawing. With, like, a, if you, actually, you can hook a Wacom tablet up to this or a Wacom, <laughs> however you want to say it. So, the line tool, just like every other line tool for drawing lines, <laughs> the box, you just click and drag with it, and then it'll leave your line, or your circle, or your square. Polyline tool, you can draw shapes like that. Same with that. Um, okay, that's interesting. So if I, if I want to bend the lines as I draw them, I can do that. 
you just drag your line out let me uh, undo that so let's get a clear slate here so this is actually a pretty cool tool if you click it'll take a line out so if you want you can just do a straight line and then go to the next line but instead of just clicking once if you click and hold and keep holding as you drag down it'll bend the line so then you can do stuff like this so click and hold and then boom you can do cool stuff like that and that's good for like tracing different objects and stuff like that it really it helps if you uh if you've learned other graphics pro softwares it'll come a little easier so this just looks like a pencil This here is just a another pen for drawing curves. Not sure what it is. And then this is the paintbrush that I think is one of my favorites. So if you turn on both mirrors with the multi brush tool, you can do stuff like this. And tell me that's not cool. So now I can just be like like this. And it's like really cool patterns that I just drew up like almost instantly. Like that is really cool. Like, whoa. Like this is a really, really, really cool tool. I like the multi brush tool. So if you're just trying to draw something cool real quick, cool design, and if you're going to be doing a lot of repeating stuff, this is a very useful tool for stuff like that. Um, bucket fill tool, you can change your background color, or if you draw a square, you can take the bucket fill tool and fill the square. The square's not there anymore. We can get the square to draw. Okay. Um, gradient tool. That's interesting. It has a gradient tool. Come on. Let's uh, undo a bunch of stuff here. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I switched the colors up here. So now, yeah. Okay. So if you draw a box. And that's cool, whenever you have the mirrors on, this is what a box ends up looking at. Let me turn off the mirrors real quick. <laughs> so if I draw a box, I can fill it with black. Maybe now add a gradient by clicking and dragging on the color. And there's your gradient on the back from going from black to white. That's pretty useful. Okay, this is your selection tool. That's pretty useful. Circle selection. Oh, that, that's interesting. You have a polyline selection. Or what they call it, a polygonal selection line. Um, it's interesting. You can do different selection lines like that. Let's see what this now here's your similar color selection tool like I was showing you in the beginning with the picture of the cat how you can do that okay and this is one of the bendy lines if you click and hold so I can just boom boom so <laughs> There we go, you can fill it if you want. Control A to deselect, kind of like that. So, that's just some of the basics that Krita has to offer. Um, of course, here's your color wheel up here for changing to different colors and stuff. And it'll change it to that color. So that's pretty cool. But, 
that's just kind of some of the basics and overview of where the tools are and what they can do. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time. Talk to you then.